This is the story of the 2012 University of Louisville Cardinals football team. Head coach Charlie Strong was entering his third season with the program, and big things were expected. The arch-rival University of Kentucky Wildcats were the first opponents the Cardinals would face this season. The game was quickly put out of question as star sophomore quarterback Teddy Bridgewater shredded the Wildcat defense. While running backs Sonoris Perry and Jeremy Wright each ran for over 100 yards. And the Louisville defense forced two turnovers, limiting the Wildcats to only two touchdowns. With a 32-14 victory, the Cardinals maintained possession of the Governor's Cup trophy. Following an easy victory over Missouri State, the Cardinals faced traditional ACC power North Carolina. It seemed as though nothing could stop the Cardinals as they jumped out to a 36-7 point lead at the half. On the strength of Bridgewater touchdown passes to Charles Gaines, Eli Rogers, and Nick Heiser. But the Tar Heels rallied on the strength of four touchdowns in the second half of the game. But the Cardinals survived as junior cornerback Andrew Johnson knocked down what would have been the game-winning touchdown pass as time expired. The Cardinals then went on to defeat FIU, Southern Miss, and Pittsburgh, all on the road, before beginning Big East play against the South Florida Bulls back at home. In what was supposed to be a blowout game, the Cardinals had to rely on a goal line stand and a last second touchdown pass to Eli Rogers in order to prevail over their conference rivals. Next, in a rain soaked contest, the Cardinals faced the University of Cincinnati Bearcats. UC quarterback Munchie Lego was masterful for the Bearcats, keeping his team ahead of the Cardinals most of the evening. Yet Teddy Bridgewater was up to the task in keeping pace with the Cincinnati quarterback and forced the game into overtime by firing two long fourth quarter touchdown passes to receiver Devontae Parker. And John Wallace's 30 yard field goal sent the Bearcats packing and improved the Cardinals to 8 0. Yet after a home win over the Temple Owls, trouble lay ahead for the Cardinals in Syracuse. On senior day for the Orange, the Cardinal offense sputtered. While senior quarterback Ryan Nassib in the Orange running game decimated the Cardinal defense and handed them their first loss of the season. Struggle continued for the Cardinals as they limped home to face the Connecticut Huskies on senior day. Cardinal defense, however, did its part in limiting UConn to only 241 yards of offense. But the powerful U of L running game was bottled up, and Teddy Bridgewater was hit hard, breaking his left wrist and spraining an ankle as the Cards fell in overtime. Having lost two straight, the Cardinals would travel to New Jersey to face Rutgers for the Big East Championship. The outcome looked bleak as Rutgers quickly jumped out to a 14-3 lead, and Louisville was forced to turn to backup quarterback Will Stein because of Bridgewater's injuries. Yet despite his injuries, Bridgewater was able to enter the game and give the Cardinals a lead late in the fourth quarter. And a late interception sealed the game at Big East Championship for the Cardinals. As the team celebrated their championship by hoisting the trophy, the star quarterback, barely able to walk because of his injuries and playing with a broken wrist, shared an emotional moment with the coaching staff. The victory propelled the Cardinals into the Sugar Bowl, where they would face the heavily favored Florida Gators. Though no one gave the Cardinals much chance of winning, Terrell Floyd's interception returned for a touchdown on the first play of the game announced to the world that the Cardinals would not go down without a fight. And though the Florida defense tried to intimidate the Cardinals, Bridgewater drove them down the field and capped off their first offensive possession with a touchdown. Touchdown passes to Devontae Parker and Damian Copeland expanded the Cardinals' lead to 30-10, entering the fourth quarter. That proved to be more than enough for the Cardinal defense, as they limited all SEC running back Mike Gillisley to a mere 48 yards rushing and knocked down quarterback Jeff Driscoll time after time. And as his players celebrated the 33-23 victory, Coach Charlie Strong hoisted the Sugar Bowl Championship Trophy, the culminating act of the finest season in school history.